This movie will show you how to check your work against a rubric. So I'll always have a rubric ready for you and what you do is you'll click on it and it will pop up somehow and it's basically um, a checklist. So there are usually 10 things to meet roughly. It may change. This one happens to be for the first word assignment stranded journal. So you need to make sure that your document is saved in the correct folder and is correctly named. Your name and period number are in a one-line header. You've got four paragraphs, each with four sentences minimum. Your work fits on one page, no blank second page, so you'll scroll all the way down, make sure you don't have a second one. If you do, backspace out of it. Your border around the page is properly formatted, and that means it goes below your um, name in a so to do that you click on well you need to watch the but your your border is supposed to go below your name in a header your work always shows evidence of effort and creativity and the table below the text has 20 items to take with you I also want the word count at the bottom of your page must be more than 250 words, no typing errors, make sure you complete the learning log. But not only do you have to fill, meet this checklist, but it's a standard based rubric. And so there are two formats of grading your work, design and quality. And if the technical quality is extremely well, then even if you meet all of these up at the top, the checklist, you're not going to get full points unless everything is exemplary, in both in terms of technical quality and quality of production. So every time that you have a rubric, you pull it up, check your work against it, and make sure that you meet all the requirements.